I like my desk, my little work area. After one year of working on it, I can finally say that it's, you know, it's almost there, it's almost finished. There are only two things that are left for me to fix. The first one being the sound. When I touch my microphone, it sounds something like this. I figured that it's a static buildup that can be somewhat fixed if I touch a grounded wire at the same time as I'm recording, right? So I use this wire that attaches to the, to the case. After seeing this, my, my wife, she bought me a new microphone. So I guess my solution created an, an actual solution. The new microphone will arrive in a, in a week. I'm waiting for it like, like I'm waiting for Christmas. Stop. Important break. So I'm doing a challenge, a 3D modeling challenge until the 1st of October and you can win this thing right here. This channel is pretty small so the chances of winning are pretty high. Check out the link in the video description for the announcement video of the challenge. Back to the video. The second issue that we still have and the issue that is going to be fixed today is the light. This space, my space, is dark, very dark. It's hidden away from any direct light that would mess with the computer screens, right? But this also means that artificial light, a ton of artificial light needs to be added for me to be able to film here, right? And currently there are three sources. The ambient light, which is just literally every light in my apartment, the overhead light, which is a powerful office lamp right above my desk, uh, but unfortunately it produces really yucky shadows. And then there is the softbox. I got it from AliExpress, had to cut off the plug to change it to the European type style plug, and it's been sparking ever since then. Also it's a pain in the ass to use. I need a light, something, something that is integrated and that would sit on top of a monitor, right? That would anchor to a monitor. And also it should not mess with the feng shui I guess, of, of the rest of the apartment, meaning it needs to be tucked away somewhere, probably somewhere here. So I was looking for where the hell did I put my lights um, and I found them. Apparently I didn't put them anywhere. They're still right here, right underneath the shelves. And that's great. And they are magnet held. So removing them will be a breeze. All I need to do is just I forgot how many lamps I actually bought. Damn. We can make something with this. We're happy. Let's move on. During the modeling process, I realized that the tolerances will have to be super tight for this thing to work together without any need for screws or glue or any other fasteners. Because of this, I designed with resin printing in mind and also I knew that I'll use Gitex Alcade Alcade. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but they're resin printer. Uh, well, because they have sent it to me. And also it's the only resin printer that I currently own. This is going to be my first try, my first play with it. So it's safe to say that I'm coming in hot with this design. The design itself was pretty straightforward. 
Measure out the LED lamps and then model out the three clamps around them, making sure that the clamps will snugly fit against the bezel of my monitor. That's, that's the tricky part, isn't it? And I have to say that since the printer in question uses Cheetobox as its primary slicing software, which is also the general slicing software for resin printers, the whole process of setting up the print was really painless, and that is always, always a pleasure to see. Hey, it works, it works. But now the question is, I guess, could I have bought an actual desk lamp just from the store? And the answer is, of course, yes, yes, I could have. But this, this one is mine and it fits my desk perfectly and it has the perfect angle. And it also has a little hook for my pet octopus whose name is Taco. Everyone say hi to Taco. As for making, of this project, of this lamp. Honestly, I almost wish that there were more challenges. It would just make a more interesting video with the drama, but there were none. The Al-Qaid, Al still don't know how to pronounce it, the printer did this job without any issues whatsoever. And considering that it's a hundred dollars, I am honestly super impressed. It's by far the fastest resin printer that I have had. I'll leave a link to it in the video description for you guys to check it out as well. As for this kind of a format of the video, I'm honestly very curious to, to hear from you if this is something that you find to be interesting. If not, let me also know in the comments, right? Should I come back to just doing software stuff? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Later.